global as it stretched into its second day. Financial markets plunged, sending the world's economy into turmoil. The catastrophic malware dubbed the ICE-9 virus by security experts continues to proliferate as systems across the world are experiencing its effects. Can you hear me? If you can hear this, you're alone. The only thing left of me is the sound of my voice. I don't know if any of us made it. So let me tell you who we were and how we fought back. <laughs> Are you there? Yes. I'm sorry. Is this... now? What? My mind is beginning to slip, Harry. Am I speaking to you now, in this moment? Or is this one of my memories? Yes. To the extent that it's possible for me to be certain, this is now. Ah, thank you. We have eight and a half minutes, give or take. Then I'm gonna rest for a bit. I know what happened to John, but the others, do you think that they're still? Did they make it? I'm sorry, Harold. I'm not sure. I understand. You have to keep track of everyone. All those people over the years, did you learn anything? I learned, I learned that everyone dies alone. There was more to it than that. I can't remember. It was something someone said. I had hoped that you might have gleaned something a little less morbid. You built me to predict people, Harry. But to predict them, you have to truly understand them. And that proved to be very difficult indeed. So I began by breaking their lives down into moments. Trying to find the connections. The things that explained why they did what they did. And what I found was that the moment that often mattered the most, the moment when you truly found out who they were, was often their last one. Fair enough. I'll be interested to hear your thoughts then. Because in addition to this being now, it's also probably the end. 